So I'm going to show you how to set up your Fire HD 10 Kits tablet. So this one is the bigger version of HD 8. It has 10 inches uh, HD display. And what you want to do is what you want to locate the power button on the back. So there's right here the volume up and down and then the power button. And you want to press on this to start it up. So just press on this, hold it, press on the power button. And here you go, the Amazon Go just uh, appear on the screen. So wait for it to boot and it's gonna show up this screen after it's finished booting. And this is the first screen where you can choose the language. You can, you know, choose any language. I'm gonna choose United States and also you can make it, the text on the bottom, bigger or smaller. So if you prefer it to be bigger, I'm gonna make it bigger so you guys can see in the camera. And just like that. And we're gonna choose United States English Oops, if you uh, just select on this, okay. Once you select on langu language, the arrow will be blue. Use the Alexa app to automatically connect to your Amazon account and Wi-Fi network. Or use your tablet to set up manually. So you can set up uh, with the Alexa app or set up manually. I'm gonna set up manually, so just to show you guys and set up manually and then hit continue right here. All right, it's gonna ask you to choose a Wi-Fi to connect to. Uh, you wanna choose your Wi-Fi right here. So I'm gonna choose Wi-Fi. And just type in your Wi-Fi password here. Then once you enter your Wi-Fi password, just hit continue right here. All right, so it's gonna try to connect to your Wi-Fi. It says obtaining address. And now it says connected right here. And uh, it's gonna load the next page. Just wait for it. All right, so you want to register your Fire tablet. So uh, you you can register your Fire using an existing Amazon account to get access to a large selection of digital content. So here you want to enter your Amazon account, email and password of your Amazon account. So um, if you don't have Amazon account, you want to click on start here, right here. Otherwise, if you forget your password, you don't remember your Amazon account, just hit on forget password. So I'm going to enter my Amazon account. So here you go. So once you enter your Amazon account, just hit continue. And it's going to try to register your Amazon account here in just a second. So it says you're restoring your fire. Uh, so it found like a backup earlier and you can restore it. Absolutely download it and reinstall, but individual app data and content. So I'm going to start it new. So just do not restore. Otherwise, just restore. And then here, it's going to ask you uh, three options. So enable location services. It's going to uh, enable maps, weather, and other apps uh, and Amazon to use location and related information to help provide better experience. So it's up to you uh, because if you use maps or weather, it's not going to know where you are. And auto save photos and videos. So automatically upload photos and videos from this device to Amazon Cloud Drive. So I'm going to disable this, uh, save Wi-Fi to Amazon account, uh, save Wi-Fi password to Amazon. It's up to you. You can enable or disable just by tapping on the checkbox here. And now just hit continue. And here you go. So just play this video. So if you are new to this, I suggest you watch the entire video. Just hit skip. I suggest you watch this video. And now it says activate Amazon Kids Plus. By tapping activate Amazon Kids Plus, you agree to you know terms. So basically, uh, it's gonna have free one year Amazon Kids Plus, which is all the kids content like books, a lot of books, uh, a lot of uh, videos for your kids to watch that are appropriate for your kids age. And if you don't cancel before one year, it's gonna charge your credit card, uh, you know, after that. And so here you go, it says for Prime members, $4.99 per month. So after one year, it's going to charge uh, $4.99 per month if you're a Prime member. If you're not, it's uh, $7.99. And uh, if you are existing uh, Kids Plus subscriber, we will maintain your existing billing preference as Disney Prime. Okay, so you get free one year. So you can uh, activate now. You can hit activate. And say success. And now it's going to ask you to enter a PIN. So this PIN actually is... Uh, 
to switch from the kids profile to the parents profile in case you want to add apps you want to you know add other content to your kids and you want to set time limits and parental control for your kids so uh yeah so it's to restrict child profile from switching to the adult profile so i'm gonna you can uh do a pin or a password so a password might be harder or well, pin usually you know something that is uh for you to easy to remember here you go so i just set up the pin so your kids profile set up these profiles so if you have kids right here uh, you can add new profile as well so uh, if it's looking good uh, just hit continue but otherwise if you want to add another kit to this tablet you can switch profiles you know uh, you can share this tablet among kids among different uh, child so just hit continue if you're okay with this and your permissions will apply to the following profiles so uh, like echo dot plus and so on so um, I'm gonna hit cancel right here uh, you will not be able to use the echo dot kids edi edition uh yeah so if you want have your kids use the echo dot kids uh just um uh, you know go back and continue i'm gonna decline this because uh i don't have the echo dot you can uh set the age right here for your kids so just tap the age and uh, it says age recommended your child will have access to amazon kids plus and web content for kids between the age of uh, two and eight you can also enable full catalog which is uh you know child will have access to the full catalog of content designed for kids between the age of two and 13 including a current uh curated selection of pg-13 so i'm gonna leave it to age filtered catalogs and uh you can change the theme as well right here older kid theme or uh younger kid theme and you can have a browser hand selected website and videos or you can have a filtered website and videos this is more like uh for all the kids so if you have younger kids just leave it like this announcement uh so this can announce uh you know if you have your kids can use the tablet like a one-way intercom and broadcast their voice over any alexa apps in your home so you can enable this or disable this so if you have alexa echo dot and so on uh it's you can announce from this tablet and to the the whole house like to another alexa device you can also have calling uh allow audio and video calling from the kids tablet this lets kids call parent approve friends uh, and families alexa enable devices and apps so this is pretty cool uh, so from this tablet and additional kids content in-app purchase request you can enable this if you want kids to you know request permission to purchase in app uh so i'm gonna disable this additional kids content allow your kids to discover a selection of free and paid content including books apps and games intended for kids but not including amazon kids plus you will get notified and need to approve anytime your child so you can enable this uh and you can also customize all settings instead i'm gonna go with continue right here uh, you can expand it selection, allow your kids to discover and request more apps and games like Minecraft, Roblox, and so on. You can disable enable. If your kids are younger, uh, you know, it's up to you. You can enable and disable. I'm mean, going to leave disable like this. Peter's parent con control uh, all set up. One step closer to finish line. Just hit OK. And uh, how would you like to set up Andrew settings? Uh, apply the same as Peter. I'm going to do like this. And I'm going to go ahead with continue. Uh, same with the other kid you know so you can change the settings for each if they have different age uh, popular apps here are popular apps outside of amazon kids plus subscription that other parents have that the kids explore on the tablet so you can you know check or uncheck which kids uh, you allow to use this app like netflix disney plus roblox etc so you can uh, you know select or unselect like this so it's gonna work like that so you have a bunch of apps right here or disable everything yeah hit continue so this profile are up to date okay as the kid as your kids grow they will automatically be able to view new experiences it may require your permission to use them you can manage uh, parental control as well
So primary mail address, okay, for notification, just hit OK. Manage parental control with Amazon Kids Plus. You can download the app and you can manage the content like set time limits, what app they are allowed to use and so on. Just hit continue. So you successfully, congratulations, you've successfully set up this device for your kid. Okay, just hit continue. And here you go, your profiles are ready. So you can launch any profile. You can launch Andrew. You can set daily uh, goals and time limits. So goals for like how much time they have to read a book, uh, how much time they can play games or watch videos. You can also add new content like new apps and so on. And you can set up lock screen password for your kids as well. So right now it's switching to one of the child's profile, which is Andrew. And here you go. So it's launching the Amazon Kids. And here you go. So you, to make the screen brighter, just swipe from top to bottom right here and slide the slider right here up and down. So here you go. So congratulations, you've just set up your Fire HD 10 Kids tablet. And uh, you know, this is a lot smoother. So as they actually use a lot of apps, it will get slower. And I'm going to show you in another video how to make it uh, fix laggy and slow tablet in case you want to do this. There's a lot of apps, a lot of books right here. Uh, so there's movies, uh, app and games, educational content, uh, stations, books, websites, web videos, and store and so on. So if you hit one of these, uh, movies and so on. It's going to display all the shows for your kids' age. So you, as your kids grow older, they will have different uh, selection of these videos for all the kids and also apps and game as well. So this is all like educational content filter for you. Uh, you might be overwhelmed with this and I'm going to show you another video how to not have all these apps on your screen right away because this is uh, a lot of apps that you might not want and I'm going to show you how to remove apps from your child screen so please subscribe and watch my other videos uh, this is actually uh, a lot of content so please subscribe and like this video so others can find this video as well thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video bye